Hey guys, this is Noah from Elementor. So in the previous video from this series, we went over the layout options for both sections and columns. Today, in continuation to that video, we'll be going over their style options. So I first inserted a new section. For best display in our video, I activated the stretch section option and set the section's height as fit to screen. If you need a reminder how to do this, you can watch our previous video about the sections and columns layout settings. Now we'll be viewing the section style options by clicking on this tab. Now here I have full control over the style options for this section. It's background, border, and topography. In the background style options, I have the background type. Here I could choose no background at all, or classic background, or video background. If I select none, the section's background stays as is. If I select the classic background, I have an option to set a color and or an image. I'm saying and or because you can set both a color and an image where the color will be displayed below the image. So anyway, by clicking on color, I can set the entire section's background color and its opacity. Now I'll just add a simple heading to give you a better idea. All right, and now we'll just head back to the section style options. Now to display an image background, I just click right here. First, I'll just clear the color. Now I'll just click right here and then choose my image from the WordPress media library, say this image. Now once the background image is placed, note how you have the following settings. You have position, where you could select the exact positioning of the image inside the screen. See that? Let's go with center, center. And then you have attachment, where you could choose whether the image will scroll along with you or stay fixed in place while you scroll down. So say scroll, it scrolls down with me. Or fixed, it stays in place. And then you have repeat. You can choose whether the image display will be repeated inside the section, and if so, in what direction. So you have no repeat, or repeat, or repeat X, or repeat Y vertically. And then you have size, where you could set the image's size as automatic, cover, which stretches it out, or contain, meaning the entire image is displayed. Let's leave it at cover. Now, as I've mentioned before, you could set both color and image as a section's background. This is great if you want to display a rather small image that doesn't take up the entire section's background. And then if you set a color, they will both be displayed in the background. Now we'll head over to our amazing background overlay style feature, which as you may have noticed was immediately added when we selected the classic background option. Now this background overlay feature is truly amazing because it gives you endless background style options for your section. So you could choose none, meaning no background overlay, or classic, which will bring us all our overlay options. So you could set a color overlay and or an image overlay. If we set a color overlay, say, give it black, you could also set the opacity. Now you could set it to be any color you want, say yellow. Now instead of color, I could set its overlay as an image. So I just click here and then choose the image I want from the media library. Say this gentle pattern. See that? Now once the image is in its place, note how we have the image display options again, just like before. The position, attachment, repeat, and size. And aside for these, we also have the opacity option, where I could set the exact opacity that I want for the overlay. Now let's take this a step further. 
So now I'll add a color overlay, Let's say black. And then aside for the color, I also add an image, say this nice texture. And I'll add a bit. So now I have here a nicely touched up section without touching any code. So that was the overlay feature. Moving right on, we'll head over to the border style options. Here, as you can see, you have the option of setting the border and the box shadow to your section. To emphasize this, I'll go over to the layout settings and deactivate the stretch section. And for the height, I'll give it min height of say 600 pixels. Then back to our border style options right here. So first you have the border type where you could choose the type of border that you want. Let's set a solid and you have the border width. You could set the exact width of the border. Let's give it four pixels. And you have color, we'll set it as something bright, say yellow. And the border radius, where you could set the exact radius of the section's border. Say we set it at 20 pixels. Now note that the border radius option appears also when you don't have an actual border, meaning you could set it to the edges of this section. So if I set the border as none, while the border is still set at 20, See how the section's edges are still rounded. And last but not least here, we have the box shadow, which could give the section a great effect. So you could choose as no or yes. And then we have the following options. We have blur, which spreads out the box shadow. We have spread, where we could spread it out. Horizontal and vertical. Now watch this. If I head back to the border, select solid, and set the color as white. See how great that looks. Now we got so cut up in our image and color backgrounds that we almost forgot about the section video background option. So we'll head back to the background style options where, as you can see, it is set as classic right now. So let's set it as background video. So here you could insert a YouTube link. So say I insert this video. See how that appears? Now I'll just head back for a second to the border radius and set it as zero so it looks better. And in the layout, I'll just stretch out the section again. Go back to the video. Now see how this video is also displayed with the overlays that we had set before. Yay to the overlay. You also have the option of setting a background fallback for the video. Now this is for mobile where the video won't be displayed because video backgrounds in mobile could cause loading issues. So after the background and border style options, we have the topography style options which are relevant only if you deactivate the elementary global colors in the main elementary settings on your dashboard. Now that we went over the section style options, it's time to head over to the column style options. Let's scroll down to these good looking columns that we have right here. Now I'll just click on the columns icon. And as you can see, you have the content tab and the advanced tab. Under the content tab, you have the style options for this column. You have background and border and topography. In background and border, you have the option of setting a background color or image, border and box shadow. Now these are simply two columns, each with their own style setting. Easy to do, yet resulting in a very modernized section. So in the first one, as you can see, we have here its settings already. We have a blue background color. Now, as you can see, if I change the color, it changes for the entire column. 
So that's the only setting that we set for the background. No border and no box shadow. And in the second column, if we click right here, so you can see we only have an image for the backgrounds. Now this image, I chose it from the media library and I adjusted its settings right here. See top right in the position and no border and no box shadow. Now, if I head over to these columns, we'll just quickly go over each and every column and what we set for it. So in this column, as you can see, it has a white background color and it has a border radius of six. Say if I give it 10, it's even more rounded. So with six and it has a light box shadow. You see it's set as yes. Its color is like gray with a blur, okay? And the next column here, we also have a background color as white and we have a border type as solid this time with a width of eight and the color is yellow and with no box shadow. And this third column over here, we have the background color as pink this time, see? and without any border nor box shadow. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and tutorials, subscribe our YouTube channel or visit us at docs.elementor.com.